Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Russ here from Porky's Corner, the voice of hardcore boxing. In my Dolce Gabbana coat that Dennis got me. I think he got me this about a month before I left him. I think the only thing I've ever had out of him. Uh, frauds in boxing. I'm going to give you a, a top five frauds. Do I think frauds in boxing? In a number five, Ebony Bridges. Well, what's all that about? Fighting in fishnet stockings. Doing interview after interview after interview. Awful, awful self-promotion. She had eight fights. She's already been in a world title fight months ago. You know, it's the number eight and number nine fought for a vacant belt. It's just fraudulent, isn't it? She's from a bodybuilding background, so she looks the part, doesn't she, now that she's slimmed down a bit and blah de blah but as far as I'm concerned, she's what's wrong with boxing. So I hope if she rematches Shannon Corner, that Shannon punches her upside down. So in a number four, Spencer Fearon. I think he's a fraud. He never won a belt. I don't even think Bridges has won a belt. I just she might have some poxy Australian belt or something, but that don't count, does it? Well, Fearon's not won a belt. He only had an handful of fights. Did he what eight fights or something? But these people are self promotion self promoters. That's all they do is promote themselves. That's all. Just promote them fucking selves. Fucking winds me up. Winds me up. You know, these people are fucking experts, but what have they done? Just get themselves out there and have a bit of fun. I know that's a bit rich coming from me, isn't it? But I'm just narrating the story, aren't I? So Spencer Fearing in at number four as frauds in boxing. In at number three, Dave Allen. Keeps getting chance after chance after chance. Not won a belt. Not won a belt. Massive following, just like Ebony Bridges and Fearon. These people have massive, massive followings, but they're not very good at doing what they're doing. It's like, it's like being a singer and having a massive following, but you can't sing. I'm all right. I know is that a little bit harsh of me? Hey. And I go like that, screen goes a bit. I don't know. I've ordered a new 4K camera, so so you'd be able to get a better look at me. But Dave Allen in at number three. I mean, I don't even know what to say no more. It's just people manipulating social media to move forward in the sport of boxing. That's where it, where it's going now, isn't it? We've just seen that thriller, haven't you? And you, you've seen all that other stuff, haven't you, with Jake Paul and Logan Paul and all that rubbish. It's all that about. Can't fight then. But it could be saving a boxing, but I'm not so sure. I'm not so sure. In at number two, Big John Fury, big fighting man that don't fight. He don't fight in the ring or on the hard road. And he's just done a 200 kilo lift with his Corey. Got that off my mate Richard, that one liner. John Fury, eight and four and one. Poor, poor journeyman. Not even a journeyman, a move around guy. You've seen what happened when you go in the ring. You just got put to kip. Do you know what I mean? This is a man that does 140 kilo bench presses. Runs 10 kilo in the morning on it, kilometers. I call it kilo, short for kilometers. You know, it's we're talking about a man here that's been out of jail. Been out of jail six years, got rid of Peter Fury, Ricky Atten, 
Freddie Roach, Ben Davidson, who were all involved with Tyson and Tommy. So he's got rid of four world champions, Asif Valley, the other Asif, and Mick Hennessy. He's got rid of all them. Don't forget Mick Hennessy signed Tyson when nobody else wanted him because John were involved, walking him around the country. And nobody wanted Tyson because the father were in tow. Well, the dad's back in tow now, isn't he? And Tyson's not fought for 20 months. And if he don't fight next month, he'll be in and out of court all his life with eagle problems. The lunatics are running the asylum, aren't they? But Big John Fury knows what he wants. He knows what boxing is. He's been around it all his life. Lift him 200 kilo weights with his Corey. What I want to make is, when the lunatics are running the asylum, nobody knows what's going to happen, do they? So... But we wish Big John Fury well, don't we? Big John Fury, who has £100,000 bare-knuckle fight. His words, with 1992 Irish champion. For the love of me, I can't think of his name, he told some newspaper when interviewed. But I did knock him out, though, 100 grand. If I knocked somebody out for 100 quid, I'd remember his name, never mind 100 grand. But this is a man who cried in the dock. You want to play the social media game? This is what happens. All right? Frauds in boxing. In at number one. There's only one fraud in boxing in my eyes. He's the biggest fraud to ever come out of boxing. He's never beat a champion. Isn't that right, Tony Bellew? Tony Bellew has never beat a champion. That better. Maybe I need a face tuck when I go back to uh, when I go to Cosmetic Beach. Maybe I should have a quote for face tucker for when I face tuck when I go back for implants because they take six months to settle in your mouth, don't they? For bone to grow, I've been told. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting a bit vain in my old age. He says on. On our website here, what, uh, Porky's birthday today and all that. Cameron, are you a plant pot or something or a cretin? My birthday's October, not September. All right? October. So I've took that down and managed to get into it and delete it. So it ain't my fucking birthday today. All right? It's next month. I'm 51 next month. But Tony Bellew, British Commonwealth, European and a world champion. All vacant belts. Didn't go into WBSS tournament. Swerved just about every hard fight. That, to me, is a fraud. Biggest fraud in the sport of boxing. But it's a tired old format now, isn't it, boxing? All this, let's pal Eddie Earn up and let's pal Coogan up and get ourselves out there. It's tired, isn't it? What put me off boxing this weekend were all them people not asking the proper questions to Davey Day and... McCougan flying out to Miami to meet Fournier or something like that before Fournier goes off to his island on his private jet or something. I don't know what was going on there, but that's what Fournier said in an interview. Why ain't Coogan nipping up to Birmingham? Why aren't you going up to Birmingham to see Eggington? They're not going to do that, are they? So, just what it is, isn't it? But... That's how I look at it. So boxing's full of bullshitters and bluffers. When the ice breaks, I'll be underneath it with my camera or me uh, or me equipment here. Um, you ever get them days where you just don't fancy it? I've been bad as a dog. The food poisoning. Bad as a dog. But uh, it's what it is, isn't it? So. Peace out. Keep on trucking. Keep sporting boxing. Don't have nightmares. I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart all right, for joining our members area. Thank you very much. Starting to get a bit of a following up now. Well, thank you very much. And I hope these videos have entertained you. All right, but I'm up to here at the moment with boxing. You've had your 20 YouTube videos, and this is the seventh members. All right, we'll get the members ones done. And then I don't know what I'm going to do. I might take a break. I'm off down south next week, next weekend. The Joshua fight. I'm not going to watch the Joshua fight. I'm going to stay at a friend's house and I'm going to watch it there. 
but uh, so all right so if there's no videos after tomorrow it'll be next week so i just think i need to stay, take a little step back okay all right we'll see we'll see how i feel i might be all right in a couple of days I might be all right in a couple of days I've, i have these moments where i'm just listening to shit we're going around with fucking same old knackers all the time aren't we all right peace out but once again thanks very much for joining members area